Hello, Nadine here, and today I'm going to be making some seasonal soaps that um, I'll be doing them with these little leaves for fall, and I'm going to be using this amazing mold putty. And let's see, so first I started out, I cut out a bunch of um, leaves using a Spellbinders um, die cut, and this is just chipboard. So, oops. Okay, so I have several of these, and the reason why I did a bunch of them is because in order to get it to work with the, the putty, which I'm going to be having to push it down into, I wanted it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to glue these together, and then I will show you what I'm going to do when I get to this part. Okay, now that you have them, a bunch of um, die cuts glued together, I'm going to move on with our molding putty. Mold putty. There are two different ones, a white one and a yellow one. You're going to take even amount, mix them together so they're completely mixed, and you have about, I think it says... Yeah, two to three work, two to three minutes to work with them. And then it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to set up. Yeah, so they're pretty close to the same size. They don't have to be exact, but as close as you can get them. And then you're gonna start mixing them together. You don't want any swirls or anything. You wanna mix together really well. Now, you're going to want to take this, this, the side that has the imprint on it from the die cut, is the side I am going to push down into it. And then you're going to wait about 20 minutes to let that set up. And while that is setting up, I am actually going to take some soap. This one's broken. Like, these are just free ones that I grabbed from a hotel room when you stay there. And I'm going to stick them in the microwave and melt them up so I can pour that into there. So I'll be back in a few. Hello again. Now it's been 20 minutes. And as you can see, the mold is set. So I'm going to pop out my die cuts. perfect impression of a leaf. Now while this was setting I actually decided to change gears and instead of using the other soap that I have I found some glycerin soap that has like an amberish color to it and decided to use that instead. So I melted some of that down. Just pour that in there and let it dry and I will come back after that sets. Okay, I'm back again. I let this dry for about another 20 minutes with the soap inside. Now I'm just going to pop it out. And there you go. You have a cute little decorative soap. You can make these for different ones for Christmas, all kinds of different things. Thank you for watching.